Just previews the dark sides of the league over. Okay, this beer I got from Liquorland down Port Macquarie. I haven't sent my way and I don't have Liquorland in my town. Um, this beer is comes in a 500ml brown bottle. It's 4.1% ABV and it's brewed in Yorkshire, England. Yorkshire. Now, it's an English bitter style slash brown ale, I think. It's somewhere between there. Let's, uh, let's get into it. Okay, let's uh, put it into this English pint glass. Yeah, so um, <clears throat> so I've never heard this beer, so it's really interesting to try this. I do like this style. Um, okay, the colour on camera, of course, can be different because it's nighty. I'm in the laundry. But um, it's kind of like a typical English bit of look to it. It's like a, a an orange amber appearance in the light, if that makes any sense to you at all. And it's got one for your head, but the head looks really nice and really creamy. Um, maybe a little bit chill haze, but just a little bit. But um, it's not, um, it's like an orange amber appearance. Anyway, it smells pretty good from this distance. Let's go a bit closer, eh? Oh, I tell you what, the, the malts, if you're a malt maniac, you're going to like this. Probably the, well, the smell of it anyway. Just malts. Chewy, toffee malts. Um, it looks absolutely uh, smashing. Let's get into it. Cheers. Yeah, it's a, it's a caramel fest, toffee caramel malts, sweet, maybe a bit of fruit, with that kind of, yeah, that nutty finish. They said it in the bottle, and it's definitely there, and the finish is pretty dry, actually, for this 4.1% English bitter. Let's go again. Yeah, so... Um, it's a very nice beer, very nice English beer. It's only 4.1%. I tell you what, Jesus got some flavour in it for 4.1. You get some 4.1% beers or 4% beers, 4.2s, around that, and they're pretty bland. But I tell you what, if you want a session ale and you like an English bitter like I do, this would be a great beer. They do do this on cask over in Yorkshire, I believe, too, so that'd be just uh, outstanding. You look at that. Lacing this English pint glass beautifully. The beer is sensational. The, the body is uh, pretty smooth. Light to medium body. It's smooth. It dries. Got those toffee caramel malts. Bit of fruit. Reminds me of uh, actually, uh, I'm trying to think, St. Peter's Ruby Red Ale. That, that's one that comes to mind. I've had a few English beers now, but this is just, just one that comes to mind. Similar tasting. It's uh, just a, a lovely beer. Real good winter's beer. Hearty, delicious, and, and like I said, you can session the, you can session it like anything else. It's only 4.1%. So anyway, rounding up, this has been a real surprise. This I actually got this 50% uh, off this bottle. It tastes fine. It's uh, very enjoyable. Like, like I said, I could drink this every day of my life and not get tired of it. It's, um, yeah, it's a real Yorkshireman's beer, I suppose. Uh, yeah, you know, it's just a real uh, good beer from Yorkshire, and uh, I'll have to give it a, uh, an A-, minus, a very solid A-. minus. I enjoyed as much as I enjoyed the St. Peter's Ruby Red Ale, and I wasn't expecting that, but honestly, I think it's about medium scores and rate beer and beer advocate, but I think it's very enjoyable beer, and I think you'll like it too. So if you're in Australia, go to Liquorland. If you're in the uh, United Kingdom, you've got hundreds of English beers to drink. But um, personally, from uh, having this one in Australia, this one's pretty good. It's travelled the distance well. Right, I thanks for watching this episode of Jews Beer Reviews. Uh, Till next time, you all take care. And uh, I'll see you all later.
Cheers.